Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. And we have our body here, the paint has dried, and the you can see it's got quite a bit of ripple in it. And then right here is that piece of uh, lint or whatever that got into it. The hood and the trunk lid are the best looking part of it. And from there it don't look too terrible. But the sides, oh my goodness the sides, look at that. That is horrendous. So what I decided to do is we're going to end up wet sanding this and then cleaning it up and I'm going to put it back in the booth and shoot it again. Um, everything that I've seen online, granted I'm not a paint and body person so I don't know a whole lot about different paints and whatnot. I've never had a model um, orange peel this bad. I mean you can feel it. That's horrible. The deck lid right there, that's pretty smooth right there. And then the, the hood. I mean there's a little orange peel there but not anything terrible. But uh, yeah, I don't think shooting clear over that's going to do us any good. And from what I've read so far online, it's because the can says do light coats. And that's what I did. Kind of mist coats and whatnot. And then everything online saying that I should not have done light coats. It causes the orange peel. But there's other things that could have caused it too. The primer coat was nice and smooth. Um, yeah, the model sat for a day or so to dry after I wet sanded the primer and cleaned it off with the isopropyl. Part of me thought maybe that, well, the isopropyl made it do that, but I think it would have affected the primer maybe. And it could have been from that can, because what I did immediately, as you've seen from the first video, I shot it, and I think I'm going to live with the bottom side of it. I don't think that's going to be nothing to, to shed tears over, but I want the top of the body to turn out good. I would have actually been satisfied with this, but um, yeah, I just can't live with the sides. This side's a little better, but it, I noticed where I sprayed it heavier, which is here, that it turned out the best. And I think what I read online is true. I probably just was probably um, just too light on the coats. So I'm going to take some thousand grit and just kind of sand it a bit. Let's see what sand it. And the orange peel off of it. I was kind of hoping I could wet sand the car and clean it up and then clear it, but I don't know if that's a something that's going to be feasible or not. I didn't hear anything about that. crazy with it. Just kind of knock that, smooth it out. Don't really want to lose any edges either. That's smoothing out actually quite nicely. I don't think I'd ever try to clear coat it though. And the, they recommended 800 grit, but I thought, well, we'll start at 1,000 and see what that gets us. And we don't really want to 
scratch and go, we just kind of want to buff it. Let's get that other side. This side didn't turn out as bad, I didn't think. And I don't want to get the bottom because we're going to keep that the way it is. My channel's not big enough to, and I don't think none of the model people out there can, are watching my videos to let me know if there's a way I could fix this. Cause I haven't, I haven't built a model car in at least 15 years, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that because it's covered with the trim. If you can fix it, I mean, I've I've seen videos where people have just said, oh, we're just gonna repaint it. And they put it in some kind of solution, but I can't remember what it is to, it pretty much strips all the paint off the car and they just start over again. I don't know, I think this could be salvaged as like a base coat. Learning experience is what it is. And I do believe from here on out though, I'm going to go with airbrush paint and uh, um, gonna airbrush everything. Cause I do have that airbrush. I haven't even, I got it together, but I haven't, haven't used it yet. That's sad, huh? I've had it for how long? I made a video of when I got it. I don't know, maybe this is just part of the process too and I'm not aware of it. I had a little piece of something in it. So we're going to end up shooting it back in the booth. But I'd like to kind of figure out what I did wrong before I put it in there again. The hood's going to have one here. Oh, did it fall off? Well, that one wasn't too deep. That must have happened on the last coat or so. Yeah, that's another thing. I'd like to know how to avoid that, getting those. Um, darn uh, pieces of uh, lint and what have you. I don't know. I'm thinking that if I do a uh, clean this up after I'm done sanding it, um, do a nice heavier coats like they suggest, and hopefully that'll that'll do us good. Yeah, like I said, the can said, so, "Boy, I'm making a mess here." Not even realizing it, sitting there yapping instead of working. Put our sandpaper the right way. Yeah, and as much as I 
need to touch this. Take my shiny off. I don't know, I think we'll be a lot happier if we can get a just a better lay down on that paint. Oh, let's flip it this way. I'm gonna kind of try to keep it in one direction too. And I'm keeping it pretty wet also. Swipe it down, and I need to go get a towel, and not these paper towels when I do my final wipe down here. Yeah, I made a heck of a mess. But, uh... I think we flattened it all back out. I think I'll go with an even lighter. I think I'll uh, keep on the sanding until I don't see none of that shininess again. Kind of like there where it's completely smooth. That I think is the the way to be. I'm gonna bump it up to uh I, think I got some 1500 here. Let's see, that's 2000. There's some 1500. I got all sorts of sandpaper. Like I said, as much as I hate to um, dull it down, I, th I think in the long run, I'm just going to be happier with the results. I didn't expect a perfect paint job because, like I said, I'm not a painter. But this channel's about trying new things and doing things new trying <laughs> said the same thing but backwards just trying new th new things trial and error no need to get upset about it it's it's uh it's a piece of plastic and it's just paint and uh you mess up you can it's a little more work but you can start over and try again that's the way i see it And it's a good base, actually. Think of it that way. Good base coat to for the base coat. So now I'm getting a mess again. That was part of part of it. And I am kind of avoiding these body lines a little bit so I don't get too crazy with it.
Yeah, I'm glad that hopefully when I shoot it again, I don't um, run into the problem with the uh, little furries. I think I'll try a short sleeve shirt next time I paint it. Starting to look better. Kind of a half expect I am gonna get down to the primer here. Because right off the bat, as you've seen in my first video of painting, I had trouble with the rattle can. I'm not really going to blame that though. I, I think it was my technique more than anything. This might be a long video. Some people might just do this anyway when they're working on their model cars. I don't know what the key to the perfect paint job would be. Probably not rattle cans for sure. <laughs> but no, seriously, I've... I've seen some modelers that that's all they use. They use the Rust-Oleum paint you buy at your hardware store, and boy, they they make. I don't know if it's their just their experience and their years of using it or whatever, but they can they can make a really nice paint job from a rattle can. I'm sure there's an art to it, like everything. Hopefully I'm getting this in the... I'm sure my, my arm's probably in the way of most of it. I bet we're going to get our interior wet too. Hopefully our tape stayed down. Let's get the dark lid and this wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. It's always hard to well, let's take some sandpaper and scratch all the work away that we did the night the last time we worked on it. Oh, yeah, it sure feels smooth there now, though. All right. 
So, let's kind of give you a visual. I think I decided that we're just going to go ahead and paint it again. Probably going to have to remask, I'm guessing. Yeah, you can definitely see where it was heavily orange peeled. to clean it off really well so we don't get that I think we got the majority of the orange peel on the body part done um, like I said this part here I'm not worried about because we got the trim pieces I'm gonna cover it but It was pretty smooth. And like I said, I need to get a go back and get my um decent towel to Oh, that didn't even really get that dirty. Good deal. Thought my handprints would have gotten all over that. And you see, it's funny because that laid down pretty decent. The floor panels don't look terrible. The bottom we're going to live with. And then again, too, I was thinking maybe I should have gotten. Uh, as nice as the interior, I don't know if you watched any of you watched my interior video that I did originally when I made the mistake of painting everything flat black and then gloss coating it, which when I actually wanted to gloss paint it and then doll coat it. But as shiny as that interior ended up turning out, I have thought, well, maybe I should have painted it flat black and then just glossed it. Like I said, learning curve. We'll get there. It's the first model in 15 years, and and uh, we got to sand it down, and we can recode it. That's that's the thing. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you back in the paint booth with this one. See you guys next time.